The Jim Rome Show. Bumping around. I usually spend the entire radio show on ESPN News because it's the one thing that I can watch with the sound down and get a lot out of because it's all graphics and highlights and stats and numbers. It's easy. We just do it all day long. But every once in a while after it starts to kind of recycle, I'll bump out of it, see what else is on. Good to see the world strong man on ESPN too. I know that these guys, there's, there's not enough weight to keep these guys interested. But whose idea is it to like, you know, you know what we're going to do? Let's go get some refrigerators. Let's see if you can throw these refrigerators over this pole vault bar. All right, and then we're going to strap tractors to their backs, and we're going to run 40s. I like the one where they pull the engine out of the car, and they have to carry it. That is after they shot put kegs. How about those giant boulders they got to throw up on the uh, podium or the pedestal? It's like weird and creepy and freaky, but pretty compelling. We get it. You're strong. That Weights don't really intrigue you anymore. The guy's like, hey, go over there and lift that barn. Go pull that engine out of my car and throw it 1,000 feet. Like I said, really weird and really creepy, but I watch it. Oddly compelling. Really bizarre. I admit it. Wait a minute. Let me see if this uh, guy from Poland can hold these two anvils at 90 degree angles for five minutes. I think he can. I'll tell you who's a badass is Rolf Burr. You just don't mess with these guys. Uh, anyway. Huge email today brought to you by Office Depot. I guarantee one of these guys could lift Office Depot over their shoulders. I mean, here comes the rainbow-colored barrel lift. I mean, that thing's got to weigh what? Like three tons? Here they come. There's the green one. Here comes the orange one. I mean, they're beer kegs. I don't care what color they are. They're still beer kegs. I mean, this dude's doing like this lift with like a dozen beer kegs. 750 pounds right now, and he's already put that thing up six times. They just dropped a black one on him. He's up to 794 pounds, and he's done seven reps. I mean, this cat's incredible. Well, dude. You know what? You never know when you might need somebody to carry home eight kegs of beer by themselves. That would come in pretty handy. That cat's a warrior. All right, that guy's the strongest guy I've ever seen. That guy makes Brian Urlacher look like a three-year-old. That guy makes Brian Urlacher who's about the baddest guy I know, look like Richard Simmons. I mean, this guy's a joke. He's putting up 672 like it's nothing. Anyway, the uh, huge email is brought to you by Office Depot. Office Depot has over 500 ink, toner, and fax supplies in-store and thousands more online at unbeatable prices. Office Depot, taking care of business. That guy did that like it was like... (laughs) <laughs> he did that like those were like two pound curls and he was rehabbing a rotator cuff and not the 794 for a beer he just put up. Damn, never seen anything like it. This email says, hello, you fish to catch the bass. Hello. Signed Herm Edwards. That was a great meltdown too. You play to win the game. Hello. Hello, you win to play the game. Now that, that guy's got no chance right there. How do you follow that guy from Poland? I have no idea who the hell you are. I just know you've got no chance, bro. I'm not saying I want any part of you, dude, but I'm just saying you got no chance of that guy you're following, whoever you are. Hey, Rome. 
do we have to get John L. Smith as his fishing buddy? We're hooking the fish, reeling them in, and the crew is screwing it up. We should have been in a ball game with fast field goal. The coach had sent him in. We shouldn't have sent him in. That's a dang coaching mistake. That the kids are playing their tail off, and the coaches are screwing it up. Hey, Rome, would Denny have guests like Bob Knight, who would throw his pole across the boat if he missed a fish, or choke the guy who botches the net job? That one's from Green Bay, where it's 12 degrees. That's our guy. He's an American. Couldn't get it up there six times even. That guy from Poland's crazy. That guy's unbeatable, whoever the hell he is. Not only did he get it up in seven reps or get it up seven times, he got it in under 30 seconds. That guy's crazy. That guy could deadlift a whole beer distributorship. Whoever that guy is, he wins it every single time. Hey, Jim, did you say that BC dropped a few players from its roster? Karma, baby. Karma. Signed Seth Greenberg. Wore T-Raj slamming a handful of Dexa trim. Have you thought about that? Are you in fourth place, Travis? So you're in third place. You're in four out of five. There's some woman looking up at you. Okay. She lost a half a pound. Very impressive. Two weeks and she lost a half a pound. I don't want to crack somebody I don't know, but whoever you are, you got to do better than that. Dear Jim, Rome, I'm looking for investors so I can buy Never Let Luis Polonia see. That's not funny. It's ridiculous. All right, let's go to the phones. Thank you all for hanging in. I appreciate it. San Diego, Ray in San Diego. Ray, what is up? Romy, how you doing? I'm first great. time, long time. Thank you, Ray. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, just a couple quick things. I'm a first timer. Char- you know, Chargers, my team. I love them through thick and thin. Way back in the days. Maybe we shouldn't throw rallies and schedule parades till we actually win something. Charger fans, I'm one of them. Quit whining. You know, Marty. Okay, let's give him another chance. You know, the Jaw won one last year, and he was kind of choking him out in the title game. So, you know, let's give this guy a chance, keep our heads up, and roll forward. Thanks for your time, Roby. It's a good job, Ray. I think it's a pretty good point. It's a pretty good analogy. Bill Cower was a guy who had his team in the hunt almost every single year. Had gotten close, couldn't finish. The Rooney family was very loyal to him. They were patient. They didn't do anything knee-jerk. They waited, and they were rewarded for it. I'm not saying that Marty Schottenheimer doesn't have something to prove. I think that he did enough to get his job back. The problem with just, quote, giving him his job back is now he's a lame duck. And that's almost an impossible situation for any coach. I say you bring the guy back because, one, it wasn't all his fault that they lost that game. Two, they were the number one seed. They won 14 games, and they're close. Three, they like him. They play for him. If they were tuning him out, and there was finger pointing, and the team was imploding because of it, and they had bad chemistry... And he and A.J. Smith not only don't talk to each other, but they can't work together. If all of that were true, I'd say, don't bring the guy back. But that's not. He and Smith might not like each other, but it somehow works for him. They might have disagreements about personnel, but Smith gets him players, and he coaches the players, and he does a pretty good job. Good enough to keep his job, as far as I'm concerned. Now, if they have another big regular season, and they flame again next year, then he's done. But... I think just because they brought him back doesn't mean they want him back. If they really wanted him, they would have extended him. And no, that one-year deal at $4.5 million was not a legitimate offer to extend. Not when there's a $1 million buyout. 